Well, uh, I'm all set up. The rods are out. The bimini top is out. I am all organized, ready for fishing. Only one problem. I forgot my anchors. You can't carp fish without anchors. I've, I've tried it. You sway too much and especially today the wind is against me. There is very little current. The water is extremely low. Not extremely low, but I guess it's two feet below normal. And I mean, th there is five or six feet uh, water in this river to begin with. So we gotta be careful when we cross, there's some shallows over there. But while I'm waiting for my beautiful wife to bring me the anchors, thank you, honey, because I wasn't putting the boat back on the trailer. And if I did, I wouldn't come back fishing. But while I'm waiting, I thought, let's make the pack bait together. So, man, this one is, is really, it's every, every time it's a little bit unique because I have different kind of stuff uh, in, in my kitchen, depending on what cereal the kids are eating right now. And, oh my God, I wish you could smell this. I mean, it just smells amazing. The moment you make my pack bait up to here, before you cast in the water, you will know you have good stuff in your hands. Then just uh, cream style sweet corn. And uh, be careful, don't put too much at first. I've done that mistake and I don't have more dry pack bait. So if this is, if I need more dry pack bait, I will be in trouble. Man, oh man, oh man. Man, oh man, oh man. This river that I fish, guys, is just nasty, dirty, muddy river. So you can imagine what carp are eating on the bottom of this river. And then they swim across. They swim across one of these. You think they're gonna eat this? I mean, there is sugar, grains, all kinds of sweetness here. I mean, a human can eat this and not vomit, I believe. Even though that's not exactly my favorite cookie recipe. But especially if I bake it. Oh my God, this is amazing stuff. I mean, this is now tight. This will not... Look how little time it took. This will not fall off my springs. I don't even have good springs today. That's another story. But I think we are done with the bait. I have a little bit left. I'm going to close the can so it doesn't dry out. And I'm going to keep it and maybe a couple hours later when this dries out, I'm going to add the rest of it. Okay, now uh, hopefully my wife is here in a couple of minutes and we get to fishing. Look at that tree. There are two trees stuck in the middle of the river over here. It's only two feet where I'm driving right now. And I'm sitting in the middle of the boat so I don't get stuck and I have my engine lifted. It's easy to get stuck here if you don't know where you're going, if you don't know the river. Very dangerous in the summer. Here we go, folks. I'm finally anchored. It's 4 p.m. I have maybe three, four hours of daylight, but I may stay into the dark if I don't catch at least 10 fish. Uh, I even brought my lights with me. Very little wind, very hot, very high pressure. But uh, it is what it is. It's a Friday, so I had a really tough day at work. I just really need to go fishing to kind of drain my negative energy out. But here is what I'm going to do today. Four rods. See how they are yellow, blue, yellow, blue. Well, the yellow ones are going to have corn and the blue ones are going to have play-doh okay my kids have been playing with this stuff it smells amazing and it is so tight it's like chewing gum it's extremely tight and it stays on the hook really well so i'm gonna give this guy a shot um, i've seen other people catch fish with it i mean it should catch carp it's a matter of casting it gently 
so it doesn't fall on the cast but this stuff is so tight I don't think it's gonna fall on the cast also because of flathead catfish in this river there is no nuisance fish here if, if I cast in the middle of the river there ain't gonna be no bluegill there I promise you that so nothing is gonna bother it I mean I'm gonna give it a shot if I catch only five fish on the corn and zero on this I'm gonna discontinue the experiment but if the fight is kind of close I'll go until I catch 10 fish anyway this is what I'm gonna try today so we'll see how it goes let me cast in the water That was a good cast and definitely didn't fall during the cast. Now, I will admit that the corn rods went maybe, I don't know, 10, 15 feet further out. But, I mean, there is plenty of fish all around. So, I don't think that's a problem. Alright folks, to give the Play-Doh extra advantage, I'm going to throw a fifth rod, so we're going to have three rods on play though and uh, something jumped here but I don't know if it was carp let me tell you let me show you how well it it goes on the cook and stay and hook and stays there it's like a chewing gum it's extremely I don't know if you've played with it it doesn't fall off as easy as you think I roll it like this okay I leave the hook exposed and I press it a little bit additionally that's it now this it sits on the hook pretty good don't don't think that this will immediately fall now if a fish starts to you know play with it okay they're gonna take it off easier than fresh corn but other than that here we go I mean this is this is a very potent bait in my opinion let's put this one in the water as well folks this is the play-doh I'm sorry I'm eating this is the play-doh folks folks this is the play-doh well he's all the way here now Whoa, 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 Good carp. Good carp, folks. Come here. Take a picture and let you out. Come here, buddy. Oh, that's a good boy. That's a good boy, folks. This is a good carp, folks. I can't even stretch him completely because it's starting. I mean, it's longer than my landing mat here. I, I need a slightly longer landing mat for, for all my fish. But this is a good 10, maybe 12 pound healthy fish no signs of spawning I'm gonna let him go man huge mouth this thing huge mouth let's go buddy uh, here we go folks touchless touchless release there we go folks more play though just keep the tip exposed Folks, what's going on here? What is going on here, folks? He's so fast. 
when they're that fast they're not big Here is number two folks. This one is fitting better in my pen. Another excellent health fish. I cannot believe how good looking the carp in this nasty river are. I mean, it doesn't seem to bother them that it's so dirty. Excellent health fish. He had the play doh sucked so deep that if I had a longer leader, I probably would, would have got hooked him. He really liked that play doh. But let's cast back in there, see if we can get some more. So oh my god, finally! Oh, that is a good run, folks. That here is a that here is a good run. Finally a fish on corn. Feels like a good fish, folks. Eh. Nothing too big, but decent for sure. Ah! Folks, I didn't horse him. I promise you, I was very gentle, but. It was just too long of a fight and at the end it, it develops a, a hole in the lips and they just come off. But I will count this as a catch because, I mean, it was. So it's two fish play-doh, one fish corn. I got confused and uh, cast the corn towards the bank so I had to temporarily swap the order on the rod holder but it's still blue rods with play-doh and yellow rods with corn there we go play-doh again oh man oh man this feels steady, folks. Now I don't know, I lost the other one. If I should horse him or play him, what to do? Ah! <sighs> okay, usually I don't lose that many fish uh, when I'm fishing with mono, I don't know what's going on today. But I, I mean, I was really careful with this fish because I wanted to land him. If he felt heavier and steadier, I don't know what to do. But okay, I'm still gonna count him. Fish is a fish.
Oh, finally! Finally, my corn! Finally, come on! Hey, where'd you go? Hang on! Come back here! Don't go that way! Oh, come on! I lost too many fish today! Alright, in the net you go. Okay. All right. Look at this fish, folks. Another beautiful, healthy fish. They're not too big here, but I don't know why they don't get bigger if they're all so healthy. Look, I mean, everything about this fish is golden, a little bit of red. I mean, this is just the perfect common carp. So we have uh, three bites on the Play-Doh and two on the corn, but all four rods have had at least one fish now. So that's good because it means, well, I already knew that, but there is fish all over in front of me. this my play-doh is still here let's cast it back there I'm not even gonna touch it I'm telling you the play-doh the play-doh doesn't fall off so easy Finally, this corn. Wow, that is a good run. Good carp. There you go folks number six whoa 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 another gorgeous golden fish this one just lost the scale but he will be just fine i mean they look pretty beat up after spawn they miss all kinds of scales and have all kinds of wounds and just two months later they look absolutely perfect all right let me put him back so it's three three now Corn is coming back. Here we go, folks. Play doh dangling on the hook down there. Let's put it back in the water. Look at this play doh, baby. Play-Doh, baby! Come here! Oh my god! Ah! I'm gonna count that fish, it's 4-4. Four, four. Interesting, I was ready to rebate it because it's it stayed in the water, I don't know, 45 minutes, maybe an hour. Folks, I figured the secret. The secret is don't try to drive it through the hook and then compress it around the hook. Make a good ball. And then just put the ball on the hook like this. The ball un until you see the top of the hook. The ball stays very tight this way. Whoa, 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 whoa. Another Play-Doh fish. 
Another Play-Doh fish. I got you this time, you son. You son of a son. I got you this time. Come here. Yeah, buddy, my ACC crappy stick. It's not crappy, guys. They meant to say carpy stick. They meant, look at this beautiful bend on this rod. Look at this. The ACC is the, I mean, it's just the perfect carp rod. 10, 15 pound carp. It loads this blank perfectly. Look at this. It's all the way on the bank now. But with this rod, we can control him, guys. Look how beautiful it bends and it has enough guides so the line never touches the blank. I mean, it's just, it's not a crappy rod, it's, it's a carp rod. Oh, and the other thing, it's not a spinning rod, it's a bait casting rod. This is definitely the biggest fish I've caught with the ACC so far. I've caught plenty of carp, but never a 10 pounder. Get over here, you. Get over here, you. Oh my God, he is good size. I want you. I want you in my net. Here we go. Look here, what a carp, guys. On the ACC. Whoa! Whoa! This is a 10 pounder clean, folks. Okay, we are 5 4 Play Doh. And I'm not kidding you, I only have breadcrumbs for maybe two casts. So hopefully, I catch one more fish. I've been, I've been putting really small, you know, packs of pack bait just because very early I knew I'm not going to have enough pack bait. I've been rebaiting pretty frequently to keep the, the Play-Doh, you know, baited up. So it ate up my pack bait pretty fast, but I think we're going to catch one more fish. Let's put uh, this guy back in the water. Oh, there we go. Oh my God, on the Play-Doh, look at this bite. Look at this bite on the Play-Doh. Last fish of the day. Ah. On the Play-Doh. Come here, buddy. Ah. He is not even big. My God, he was so steady and everything. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, let me set the hook. Let me let this guy go. This one was for 6-4. Okay. You still here? Yeah. He's still here. Uh. Small fish. To bring the score closer. Beautiful young fish, folks. Six five. Okay, folks, I'm all out of pack bait and uh, almost completely out of daylight as well. So let's do the outro. Maybe I'll catch one more fish while I'm packing up, but I think we can do the outro and talk about what happened today. So who won today? I think Play-Doh won today. Play-Doh is the real winner. 
I think Play-Doh won the hearts of millions of viewers of this channel. Uh, because, I don't know, I, I did not expect this. I thought maybe I catch one fish on Play-Doh, maybe zero. Uh, I was even prepared if I start catching fish only on the corn. I would have discontinued the experiment and switch all four rods on corn. Uh, and just have fun fishing. But I kept catching fish all day. I don't think the final score is important. Technically, I, I caught six fish on Play-Doh and five on corn, but I did catch a couple on this rod. So the score is too, too close to call. But here is what I think. I think if a carp is swimming in a straight line and there is two kernels of corn two feet to the left and a bowl of Play-Doh two feet to the right and the carp is swimming right in the middle, I think it's much more likely the carp will come and eat the Play-Doh Be because it has this beautiful smell. It, it smells so nice and the uh, fresh corn has almost no scent. It does have scent. People think it has no scent, but it does have scent. So I believe in these conditions, now I'm certain after today, carp loves this stuff. But does it make it a better bait than fresh corn? Obviously not, because fresh corn is the best carp bait in the world, bar none. No boily, no schmoily, all of that nonsense. Fresh corn is the best carp bait in the world. So, I don't know, it, it doesn't, I'm not saying anybody to go buy Play-Doh and go fishing with Play-Doh. But, you know, in, in some extreme circumstances, you have no other bait and you see Play-Doh at, let's say you are at a gas station. I don't know why they would have Play-Doh at a gas station, maybe, maybe you're at Walmart and you see Play-Doh, it will work just fine. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, don't be lazy. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.